In this tutorial, we'll show you how to map your house for projections. Let's jump right in with an overview of the process, and then I'll discuss some important details to help you get the best projection show possible. This setup here on the sidewalk in front of my house represents the bare minimum that you need to project on your house. I have my laptop computer connected to my projector with an HDMI cable. I also use a mouse with my laptop because it makes it easier to draw. But if you prefer to use some other kind of pointing device, go for it. Before you start drawing, you'll need to install the House Mapper software on your computer. You can download it free from our website. Just follow the link in the video description. Once it is downloaded, launch the installer and follow the installation instructions on the download page. Start the program by double-clicking the icon on your desktop. Your entire screen will go white with only the mouse pointer and some target lines. As you can see, I'm projecting my computer screen onto the house. Now it is time to start drawing. Instead of looking at my computer screen while I draw, I look at the house. I position my pointer on the house where I want to start drawing a line. I left click and hold, then drag the mouse to draw the line. When I like how the line looks, I release the mouse button. I repeat this process over and over until I have an outline of my house. To simulate curves, you can just draw a series of short straight lines like I'm doing here with my half moon window. There's no need to get too crazy with detail. Doors, windows, the roof line, and major architectural features are all you need. No need to draw out door handles or the garden hose, etc. Don't forget to draw the bottom of your house as well. Once you're satisfied with how the drawing looks, right click with your mouse and select Save As from the drop down menu. Save the map image to your desktop or other easily accessible place so you can send it to us as an email attachment. That's how it works. Now for some important details. Make sure you position the projector as close to the house as possible while still getting the coverage you want. The closer the projector is to the house, the brighter and sharper the image will be. If your house is very large, you may consider only projecting on a portion of the house. A bright, sharp image on only a part of the house may be better than a fuzzy, dull image on the whole thing. This setup on a folding table might be fine for a one-night event where you can keep an eye on your equipment, but if you want to do a projection show every night in all kinds of weather, you'll need a secure weatherproof box to house your equipment. We sell this complete projection package that includes the box and all the equipment you need for this kind of project. Check it out on our website. If you're handy, we also have instructions for building your own box available. Regardless of your setup, it's very important that you use the exact same projector in the exact same position to draw your map as you will when you project your show. Don't draw your map with your projector set up on a folding table and expect it to line up when you project from inside your new box later. Also make sure you mark the position of your projector so that you can set it up exactly the same way next time you want to project. A little spray paint on the sidewalk works pretty well. Don't be surprised if you have to put something under the back legs of the projector to aim it down. Most projectors are designed to throw an image up onto a wall, but you're going to want to cover your house all the way to the ground. Here I'm using some spare boards to prop up the rear of the projector. Our projector box comes with a tilted shelf inside, so you won't have to worry about it. When you have it set up right, you'll be projecting what you see on your computer screen onto your house. Make sure the image is not stretched or squished on your computer screen or on the house. Your computer screen should look like it normally does, and it should look the same on the house. If not, you will need to adjust aspect ratio settings on the projector, and maybe the screen resolution settings on your computer as well. Consult your projector manual for information on how to adjust the aspect ratio. You'll typically want to set it at 16 by 9 or auto, which automatically reproduces your computer screen aspect ratio. To adjust your computer screen's resolution, click Start, then Settings, then System. Your current screen resolution is shown in this box here. You can select any of the screen resolutions in this drop down menu. Pick the one that gets your screen looking like it should. Typically, it will be at the top of the list. Obviously, everything we have talked about relates to a Windows computer. You can use a Mac computer to draw your map, too. 
The same principles apply even though your software will look different. Our House Mapper software only works with Windows, so you will need a drawing program that works on a Mac. There is a free program called Paintbrush that you can download that will work for drawing. Just follow the link in the video description. If you have a choice between using a Windows computer or a Mac, I highly recommend using a Windows computer with our house mapping software. It just makes everything easier. To wrap things up, remember you will need to send us your map drawing as an email attachment. We also need a photo of your house for reference so we can evaluate where to place things. We will not use a photo as a substitute for your map drawing. We need both.